I have always been a man of peace and that's what the Quran stands for. It has been my mission to spread peace throughout the world. Unfortunately, I face detectors who prevent me from carrying out my mission. About 10 days ago, after my successful lecture tour to Klantan, in which, in the last day, on 9th of August, I gave a talk on Islamophobia in the Sultan Muhammad IV Stadium at Katobaru, in which more than 100,000 people attended the talk. This success could not be digested by the detectors. Since the last few days, I have been accused of causing racial discord in the country. And my detractors have been quoting selective sentences of mine out of context and adding strange fabrications to it. I have clarified my stance today to the police. It however saddens me that this complete episode has caused many non-Muslims to think that I am a racist. It has worried me that those who were hurt have not heard my speech and have relied and based the impression on out of context quotes of mine. It is a further concern for me that this creates a bad image for Islam and it may drive many people away from Islam. Racism is an evil I am staunchly against as is the Quran and it is exactly opposite of what I stand for as an Islamic preacher. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad said in his favorite pilgrimage, no Arab is superior to a non-Arab. Neither is a non-Arab superior to an Arab. A white person is not superior to a black. Neither is a black person superior to a white. And Allah says in the glorious Quran, in Surah Hujurat, chapter number 49, verse number 13, O oh, humankind, we have created you from a single pair of male and female and have divided you into nations and tribes so that you may recognize each other, not that you may despise each other. And the most honored in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the person who has taqwa, that is God consciousness, that is righteousness, that is piety. Even though I have clarified myself, I feel I owe an apology to everyone whose feelings were hurt because of this misunderstanding. I do not want anyone to harbor ill feelings for me. It was never my intention to upset any individual or any community. It is against the basic tenets of Islam. And I would like to convey my heartful apologies for this misunderstanding. At the same time, it's my humble appeal to all of you, especially the non-Muslims, please take out time to hear my speeches in their entirety. My lectures are available on the YouTube, the Peace TV, as well as the Peace TV mobile app. Last but not the least, I was deeply touched by the hundreds of thousands of people who stood in my support. I would like to express my earnest gratitude to all of you. Jazakallahu khairan. May Allah reward you with the best.